How's it going guys? My name is Doe and I hope you're doing good and I wanted to make a very informal video just talking about a lot of things that are happening in the game on the 11th. I think today is going to be a little bit, you know, today, today won't be the 11th, it'll be a bit earlier than that. So don't be like, why is Doe playing the game and I can't? What's going on? First off, I'm a partner, so I get access to things a little bit early, sometimes, not all the time. And in this case, I got a little bit lucky to sort of make this video a bit early just because of how some uh, certain game awards are going on or something like that. So that's the reason for this. Anywho, I want to give my brief synopsis of some changes happening in Dauntless just to give you a little brief rundown of some of the things to expect on the 11th and just give my sort of first impressions of what's going on. So first things first, a Umbral Escalation is coming out and what does that mean for Pretty much all the players well first off you get a new behemoth new armor new legendary weapons in this case umbral it's all pretty cool it's all great now the escalation itself is fun and it's going to be a escalation that can benefit wounds if you're running a wound build you can get really big gains from doing this correctly it's not like a just make wounds profit it's more like make wounds break wounds and then profit if you have an amp so expect that to be sort of a, a a thing you can play around with, a theme you can mess around with to have a lot, a lot of fun just to see how crazy you can get your damage to go. So that is the general theme of the Escalation. There are some more things to it that are actually really cool. This time around, they added more unique amps that I'll be discussing later on in a different video. Like, to be clear, this video is just to cover brief topics. I'm not trying to like go in depth to everything because that'd be a crazy video I'm not trying to really do right now. The other thing with Escalation, or the new Umbra Escalation, is we're yet again getting more power. This power comes in the form of more Lantern Power, which is just more raw power to the Slayer. So an extra, I think, 50? Right? Yeah, something like that. So I think players will be sitting at 710 baseline power, not including power bonus from, like, using the correct element versus a Behemoth, nothing like that. If you have plus, like, full, full armor, full plus 15 armor, and full Lantern Capacitors for all the Escalations, you're at 710 power. So, we're going to be steamrolling content. And to add to all this, there's a new cell called Catalyst, which increases your tonic effectiveness and duration by 60%. So, that's, like, that's, I mean, I'll be honest, that's broken. I don't mind it being broken. I'm not here going to advocate for it to get nerfed because it's fine if it's broken since I feel like Dallas is in a state that it'll eventually have to, they'll have to, like, tone things back down, which they've already announced that they will be looking at that in the future and by future i mean relatively soon just because they they're fully aware that some things are just a little out of balance you know warpike's doing a little too much damage they're kind of tired of it right warpike's been in the limelight for too long freaking dirty warpike players taking all the limelight from all the striker mains that work so hard to get good <laughs> i'm kidding but yeah the power creep is getting absolutely insane so that's one thing to keep in mind. Now, Escalation is fun. The Umbra Escalation is awesome. Thrax is a fun behemoth, but it does feel a little uh, underwhelming after a couple tries. Like your first few encounters, your first few encounters will be, will be awesome, I think. They'll be fun. It'll be a new experience. It'll be pretty cool. And there are some things you can still do in, on Thrax, or you can still do it to Randor Thrax, uh, just for like funsies and style points. But overall, like killing it isn't that difficult, especially once you get the power boost, just because of how much power we have. So I want to make that point just because I figured it was uh, important. Now, some other things that are happening are quality of life changes, sort of like client-side dodging. So what that means is, I'm not exactly sure, but it should make it so dodging is better. And it does to a degree. It's not perfect right now, so don't expect perfection. What you should expect is if you have a really high ping, you will be able to dodge less like on a delay. Right? You can dodge a little bit more on time to what you'd normally dodge if you didn't have high ping. So this is going to benefit y'all first. To all y'all normal people with normal people ping, what's going to happen is it's not going to be that big a deal. But there are going to be some very questionable dodges, which there already are some questionable dodges. But there's, there's going to be even more questionable dodges. So don't get upset because I warned you. Or do get upset, but know that I warned you. And just got to deal with it. And you also turn, I guess, blue. You like turn like a. You don't turn blue, but you have a very blue, uh, sh uh, outer glow whenever you dodge, and that's that's to signify your iframes. And if you dodge an attack perfectly, then you get a little ding, and that will tell you if you 
dodge and attack right or correctly. So that's going to be a really good way for players to sort of learn with positive reinforcement. That's the word. So that's a little minor change. I think you can toggle it off. I'm not sure. If you can't now, you probably will in the future. But it's, it's like training wheels to a degree. Or it's, or it's just like a way to know if you're going crazy or not. Like, did the game count as a dodge? Did I miss the dodge? Stuff like that. So that's a little tidbit on that. There are a lot more quality life improvements. And some of these things have to do with behemoth staggers, interrupts, and uh, what else? And uh, yeah, and break parts. So behemoth interrupts, staggers, and break parts. These all correlate to using cells like overpower and also just hitting behemoths while they're down. Because it's really annoying whenever you, you stagger behemoth, you're about to hit it, and you hit it one time, but you have some follow-up attacks, and they miss because you break apart and it goes to freaking Egypt. It's just like out there digging through the freaking temples of Anubis or whatever. And it's annoying because like, what? bruh, I just staggered it. And then now I, or I just interrupted, staggered it, and I broke apart. Now it's in Egypt. Like, what's going on? So what they did was if you interrupt a behemoth or stagger it, it won't. Or if, like if you interrupt a behemoth, whatever lasts longer, whether it's like a break or a stagger or a boop, it will let that duration run through. And it won't let break parts break you out of that sort of like that duration unless there's like very little time left on the stagger or the interrupt or what have you. In which case it's like, okay, we'll go ahead and override it and let the break part go through. So that's awesome because it'll prevent that sort of like jagged gameplay that happens whenever you break apart and it just throws off everybody's feng shui when you're hitting, when you're beating up a pinata behemoth. It's just not, it's not very fun. So that will lead to just a lot easier uh, chain, just just murder of behemoths now, or I guess yeah. Will YouTube like will YouTube demonetize that? Even though it's like very fictional things, who knows? But uh, that's what's gonna be going down with that. And they also made it so some behemoths now have interrupts that didn't have them before. A prime example is Nazaga. I think it's, it might be the only one, but Nazaga now has an interrupt on its DM slide, so it makes the fight easier, but. It's also pretty cool to pull off, so I, I, I'm, I'm kind of torn whether or not I like that. It's interesting, it's cool, and it will make the fight easier. So players that don't like that fight, you just got a little bit easier, so you should you should have a, pre, a much better time facing it. Uh, when you break the head of some behemoths, especially Karabak, it now it, it now acts as like a stagger. Like if you break the if you break his face, it just like hits the ground. So. They're making these things and making these changes that make it so getting certain, like, like you get rewarded for doing certain actions. And that's all well and dandy, but it will be rather apparent just how these changes make it even easier to kill things, given our power creep. I think once the power creep is addressed, these changes will be very welcomed. Right now, you're just, like, fueling the fire that is just blazing kill times. But hey, what can you do? Uh, they also added a journal, which I talk about in a Hump Pass video very briefly. It's just a lore book, which is kind of cool. It's kind of neat. It also has a combat info, which is just stuff that is very basic. The damage types, the status effects, things of that nature, interrupts. Weapon overview, weapon overview as well. But yeah, the main thing in this journal is going to be the lore stuff. You get lore books from doing the Hump Pass, the free track. And the coolest part to me is that they have really nice art. I like art. I can't draw. I, I bring this up a lot. But... Just like some lore of the stuff, lore of the lore of the umbral escalation, I believe, and it's gonna be interesting if these lore books or these lore journals pave the way to just future stuff, like whether it's through the artwork or the actual text, which I haven't read yet. But this is like a Pangar Hellion, just mythic behemoth right here. Is what it seems like to me. Like that's interesting. So I, I just wonder if these pictures have any correlation to stuff. You have like this Drask. Like, what is that? I guess it's just Drask. It just it looks really cool. So, that's cool on its own. And that's a little that's a little neat stuff. And that is mostly it. Well, that's not mostly it. That's, that's, that's some of the stuff, right? There's a lot more to it. A whole new hunt pass. A whole new hunt pass. That didn't work out. Uh, just a lot of stuff going on. A lot of things happening in the game. And I just want to give a little brief synopsis of what's going on. I'll also be posting a bunch of different videos, like I said... Uh, working on some builds. Did I say that? I recorded this video twice. I don't know what's going on. 
But I'm working on some content. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys like this video, make sure to like, comment down below, let me know, and uh, make sure to use my Epic Games support credit code in the Epic Games store. It's Odo. Use it at checkout because it helps me out a ton, and there's no reason not to use someone's code. So if you want to use mine because, hey, you know, it helps out a ton. Uh, check out my Twitch channel at twitch.tv forward slash Odo, and peep my Discord to know when I go live on said Twitch channel. But uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.